everyone, Tiffany here with The Crafty Home, and today I am doing a tag video. And I was tagged by my friend Rachel at Rachel's Page Turners. I'll make sure to link her channel down below in the description. I'm not sure who created this tag. I don't know if Rachel knew either. It was kind of going around around New Year's apparently, and then Rachel waited a really long time to do it <laughs> from the person who tagged her. And so then she just tagged me. So now I'm going to do it. So yeah, here we go. So the first question, or it's the book tubing. Did I say book tube? It's the book tubing reflections tag. It's kind of an awkward name, but let's roll with it. So this tag uh, forced me to try to remember things, which I am not very good at. So let's give it a whirl. The first one is, how long have you been on booktube now? I don't know why the now is necessary in this question. Okay, I'm not going to grammatically correct every question. Um, three years, and unfortunately I missed doing a three-year, I wanted to do a big three-year thing, but with the concussion and everything, it didn't happen. Um, and it, I feel kind of weird doing it now, even though it's only like a couple months late. But anyway, um, it's been three years. My first video I posted on February 6th, 2013. I have still kept it up even though like the audio quality is horrible because I filmed it on my, um, this is an international symbol for laptop. I filmed it on my laptop and I didn't like have an external uh, mic, I had no clue what I was doing. I didn't care, I just wanted to be on booktube and so I did my first video, so yeah. It's still on there and I'm proud of how corny it is and I am not taking that sucker down for anything. So it's still up there. I say be proud of those first horrid videos and leave them up people. That's what I say. But anyway, I'm not going to get on that soapbox. <laughs> Number two is how many books have you read since you've joined? It's kind of frustrating to me that I didn't keep my Goodreads account open. Um, when Amazon bought uh, Goodreads, I was watching a lot of um, Sushila, uh, who, funny enough, I don't think she makes very many book videos anymore. She's mainly been doing a lot of like vlogging and stuff, um, which is totally fine, whatever you want to do. And then um, another Canadian, uh, but I want to say it was Sush Sushila, who was bringing up the whole issue of like, where do we go now? Do we keep using Goodreads because it's been bought out by this big company and like how is it going to ruin Goodreads and blah 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 and so I was like oh no and I got all worried and so I like closed down my Goodreads account and I moved over to something that I can't even remember the name of now and I used that for a long time and it wasn't until recently um it wasn't until recently that I moved back to it and I tried to put in some of my back history of books but even that's not completely accurate um, it's only the ones that I reviewed on my blog, because um, really, I think I've only been back on Goodreads for like a year or two. So it's kind of frustrating to me that I don't have a really accurate count. So this is a really rough estimate, and it's probably even higher than this, but I estimated um, a little over 400. So I've been on for three years, but I know I've read quite a bit in that time. So probably right around 400 books. Um, which is a really good number, like I'm shocked, but that estimate was taken from what I have on Goodreads and then what I know I've read while, I, like, I was stuck in bed for various times during that time. So, um, how many books have you purchased since joining? Like, who keeps track of that? Not me. Um, I can say that uh, when I started, I had a fiction collection that fit on two bookshelves, and since I have gotten rid of a lot of those that used to fit on two bookshelves. Um, and some of my books I do get for review, but I don't keep a lot of those. I do keep some. So I have, I have two bookshelves full, then there are bookshelves that go all the way to my ceiling. And I've bought most of those since I started BookTube. So I didn't go through and count those all because I'm scared of the number. But let's just say I've bought a lot. Is that good enough? Okay. Moving on because I don't want to be freaked out by that number. How many new channels are you now subscribed to? This is also a very large number. And maybe the reason why I don't watch a lot of videos. I feel bad not subscribing to new people. 
I like to subscribe to people and help them out and I want to know that they're there if I ever like need to watch a whole bunch of booktube videos. So okay, so I'm subscribed to 383 people. I didn't have a YouTube account before I joined and started making videos. So every subscription is somebody new. Now, granted, those are all, not all booktube video, booktube channels because I'm subscribed to like the Vlog Brothers. I'm subscribed to quite a few Minecraft channels. I'm subscribed to some homemaking channels. Um, but for the most part, those are booktube channels, um, which is great. I love booktube, but golly, how am I ever going to watch all those? Um, so actually what I do, and I can recommend this to you if you're wondering how to manage it all, um, I have my people that are like my must watches, like my best booktube friends are must watches for me. So I put, there's like a little way you can be notified of them when they put a new video out. And then I have some other people that like I have to watch their videos, like um, Sam, Thoughts on Tomes, every one of her videos I watch. Um, Sam from Mount Novels and Nonsense, who actually I consider a friend as well. We're friends, we're Oregonians, unite. Um, <laughs> And eventually we'll meet in person, right, Sam? So anyway, um, so yeah, those people, I'm going to watch every one of their videos. Now, I may not get to them right away because I'm way behind, but I click notify on that and then I get a notification on my phone and I get a notification in my email. And so those are the videos I go to watch first. And then I'll go to my subscription feed and I'll go watch all these other wonderful people who I really do want to go support. And then if I start to find out that, oh my goodness, this person actually drives me nuts, then I'll unsubscribe. But they have to like really drive me nuts because I want to support others in the community. So that's my feeling. Like, I don't care that my number's up high. I really don't care um, because I want to support the booktube community. And um, I subscribe to new people. Like if I watch the first couple videos and I'm like, you know what, I see this person has potential, I'm going to subscribe to them because I want to help motivate them. So. There you go. There's my spiel on that. Man, I'm getting into a lot of spiels on this simple little tag. Um, <laughs> apparently not being on booktube for a while has got me quite wordy about things. Um, what videos do you like filming the most? I like filming Tuesday Talks the most. Um, I know a lot of people said tags. A lot of people said tags. I feel like I have to research a lot. I'm like what book? Da, da, da. Well, I have horrible memories, so I can't even remember what book had this or that. I don't know. Um, Top 5 Wednesday, same thing. I would love to love Top 5 Wednesday, and I love watching Top 5 Wednesdays, but half of the time, I can't remember enough about the different books to be able to come up with five of whatever. So, yeah, normally I don't do Top 5 Wednesday. Occasionally, I'll look at the topic, and I'm like, if I can figure out something, I'll do it, but usually I don't. Tuesday Talks I love because it's usually some general broad topic that I can just talk about. And I like that. I can do that. So Tuesday Talks is good for me. Uh, what struggles have you overcome? Um, shyness, for one. Um, I've gained a lot of confidence in just talking in front of a camera. Um, at first, when I first did it, I felt pretty, I felt kind of bold in front of the camera. I, I didn't have, I didn't have the confidence that I do now, but um, I don't think I felt, I don't know, I didn't feel as awkward as I thought I would feel. Does that make sense? Um, but I was really worried about other people watching it. Does that makes sense. Now I'm like, whatever. I don't care if people I know watch my videos. It doesn't bother me at all. So, um, yeah, I've had to overcome shyness and I've really grown in confidence, I would say. Um, what changes have you made to your channel? Well, I didn't have an intro when I started. I have an intro now, which I may want to change again. It's so cute. My kids helped me make it, but I'm thinking I want to, I know I want to upgrade it, but I don't know if I have the skills to do what I want to do. I want one of those animated things and yeah, I don't know how to do that. Um, uh, I've gotten better equipment. I, I have my new camera, I have a better tripod, that kind of thing. Um, and I think I've gotten better at editing, I hope, <laughs> a little bit. And um, there was something else going on. Oh, I got better at like the thumbnails because I've tried to do a lot of research on that, and I'm trying to get even better at that, so. Um, what are some of your new goals for your channel? Well, I did a video, sorry, I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye, and it's nighttime, and it's dark in here, and it kind of freaked me out for a minute, but, you know, it wasn't anybody there. Um, <laughs> so I did a video about my goals a little bit, but um, 
One of them is to be more consistent. I wanted to be doing at least one video a week and obviously I have not been doing that. And um, cultivating booktube friendships, which I've kind of been doing a little bit. Um, I've been uh, buddy reading with Amy from Amy C Books a lot and so we've been chatting a lot on Voxer and stuff so that's been good. Um, but yeah, I could grow in that area still. And my other one was work on updating the channel, growing graphic arts and video making, which I still want to do more of. Um, and lastly, who would you like to tag? And um, it's late at night and I don't have a lot of time to figure out who I want to tag. So I'm going to do the whole cheesy anybody who hasn't done this tag can do this tag thing. Um, I don't know who hasn't done it, so... Um, yeah, I was tagged by Rachel. My normal go-to's would be um, Amy from Amy C Books and Rachel from Rachel's Page Turners would be like the two that I would just immediately spew out. But Rachel's already done it and I don't know if Amy's done it because I didn't look it up. So if you're watching this and you haven't done it, you should do it because it kind of makes you reflect on things. So anyway, that's all for this tag and until next time, I'll chat with y'all later. Bye!